We're going live in three, two, one. For those just joining us, we are fortunate to have an audience today with our glorious leader. Excellency, last week we experienced the conclusion of the trial of the tyrant King Solomon with his execution scheduled for next Friday. With the Great Revolution finally concluded, what will the future political structure of the People's Republic of Bisenji finally look like? Well, Zara, King Salman was a corrupt and sadistic man. Under his rule, our people served while he sold away our most sacred objects to pay for his own luxuries. Hundreds of thousands of souls died under his tyranny, yet he was tolerated by the American imperialists. His death will give us closure, but our work is only just beginning. The people's revolution is never really over. We must rebuild this country from the ashes, reform it. The Revolutionary Council has put me in charge of the transitional government for the next five years to maintain order while a new constitution is drafted. One that meets the needs of all the people. Many were expecting your brother Farouk would be named by the Revolutionary Council as the interim leader of Basenji. What role will he have in the transitional government? Farouk is popular to be certain and was a fellow patriot of the revolution. He will be given an appropriate role in my cabinet. It is often said that the Americans are suspicious of our transitional government and that you face a great deal of pressure from domestic interests seeking reforms. Our first priority is of course reconstruction. The American imperialists are of no concern at this time. Governance is not an easy task, but I assure the people that we will build a stronger Basenji together. Thank you again for your time, Excellency. It is a pleasure, Zara. Rejoice! And I'm Torkus. This is Rook's Aid. Isn't that a cool uh, intro cutscene? And, and the intro music too. It's all, it's all great. It's all great. Anyway, now I need to decide who I want to uh, put in my uh, cabinet. Which basically means, you know, what of these uh, five ministries, which ones do I want to emphasize? Now, which one do I want to de-emphasize de with uh, Farouk, my, my, my brother Farouk Estaldo, <laughs> the lesser known Estaldo, uh, who is a meanie pants. So, we have Intelligence, Communications Minister, which boosts approval with all factions. Uh, let's see, I, I imagine we want, for the d Defense Ministry, hmm, let's make a, give the capitalist to find this ministry, that sort of makes sense, you know. We can make the uh, the defense minister a, a patriot, perhaps. What don't we care about? We don't care about yeah the defense ministry. You can be a, a patriot, because you know patriots care about defense. The foreign minister can be the liberal, uh, because eh, I think we'll we can have the communications minister be the liberal because I see loyalty with the factions with Simbasenji more important than the factions without. Not that there's anyone, I don't even know, man. So, uh, we can have a intelligence minister. Okay, yeah. Because who needs intelligence, man? Who cares about intellects? I've, 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 no, it's not my first time in the big chair. I defy you. Excellency, my name is Tariq Badu, as parliamentary chief of protocol. It is my duty to ensure that your instructions reach our parliamentarians. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> offer some suggestions on our first steps to restoring order to Vashinji. No, 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 no. No, but please stay in case I have any questions. My, my, my broski Maduro. Yeah, so, uh, how, how do I turn down? Ah, 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 okay. Volume, down, 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 down. Okay, there we go. Um, ah, I'm, I'm being called. Ah, hi. Yeah, go you. The Salman Rajiv. Ooh. So uh, Tajikistan helped me. Interesting. Ah! Work towards restoring a relationship. Ooh. 
Tajikistan, my broskies, yeah. Our two great nations will work together to bring great prosperity to the region. I can read. Ah, <sighs> this isn't the best game for a last play, to be honest. But oh well. Um, so let's see if I don't know. I don't know. I mean, this dude looks a bit militaristic-y kind of guy. So the United Nations is essential. I mean, if he's worried about stability in the region, then he probably doesn't want extremism. You know. Because, I mean, if, if you want instability... Okay, well... I see. So we don't like... So we don't like the, uh... So we don't want to say... Want to say we, we don't like the United States. How do we say we don't like the United States? I don't know. We'll just, we'll just say, uh, end call. So, they don't like, uh, globalism much. That's okay. Um, so yeah! Uh, a year ago, Roka got a bunch of keys for this game from a uh, Red Dog Games or whatever it is that the developer studio are. I should know this, but I don't. Um, and he gave one to me because he's like, you like to politics, Tolkis? And I'm like, yay, I like politics. And like, I forgot about it until like a month ago when I played this game and got really into it. So here we are in the People Republic of Basenji. Basenji is apparently a type of dog that is that type of dog. Uh, we can go to the encyclopedia. Uh, you, you sit down, broski. Uh, my, my, bro, my bro talks this down. Okay. So this is us. We are Basenji. We have a population of 4.6 million. And we have Basenjis and ethnic Karisi, who are more uh, religious fundamentalist sort of stuff. And there's sort of, you know, there's a bit of a race tensions going on. There's, an, there's the, the evil King Solomon doing evil King Solomon-y stuff. Everyone, he, we overthrew him. And uh, the United States, of course, supported him because the U.S. is not not the best place in the world. And uh, then the People's Republic of Basenji was born. There is joy to the world. Joy to the world. Neil has come. Let Vulture receive her king. And then let's see. There is Boethia, which is one of our neighboring countries. I can go to the map. Ooh, where's the, where's the map? Where's the map? Let's go to the map. Okay, regional map. That, that, this is Boethia. And this is Tajikistan which is our broski that don't like the Americans. And this is Kalshara, which is another place, I guess. So, back, 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 back. Open, open your encyclopedia. Yeah, there, there you go. The Boethia is there. Um, it is independence from Great Britain. It's a pretty wealthy place, pretty progressive. You know, there's, I guess it's pretty, you know, so this seems like this might be one of the more uh, pro-U.S., pro-U.N. Uh, sort of places. And then Kalshara, the one of the other countries, is an important commercial hub. With um, it's pretty fragile. There's a lot of electronics and clothing. There's a lot of uh, so you no. Know, this this place, you know, they aren't really the most uh, sort of progressive sort of thing. They're sort of, you know, they're, they have some money, but they're not super liberal, so they're probably a bit against the U United Nations and the uh, United States, the two unions of joy. And then Tajikistan, or our broskis that apparently supported me, they're an, an autocratic republic that has brutally suppressed political parties and religious freedom and maintained rule with an iron fist. That, that, that's not how I would describe a republic, but sure. Uh, one of the most corrupt countries in the world. Comparable to Afghanistan and Uzbekistan. Ooh, so basically they're all like evil meanie pants and we don't like them. Okay. And they're probably not very... So there probably isn't a lot of uh, religion involved. They're going to be anti-religion, anti, you know, anti-everything that I personally like, sort of. The United States are... I wonder what the United States is. Um, the geography and climate of the United States are also extremely diverse, and the country is home to a wide variety of wildlife. You don't say. One of those, uh, wildlife, uh, individuals is named Tolkis. Fun fact. The Kreethi are, as I said, the ethnic subgroup that are, uh, they're poorer, more religious, they're suppressed, you know, there's a bit of tension, there's Kreethi extremists, which are uh, scary. 
Uh, Fru Castaldo is my older brother by th three years. The great, the great and glorious uh, Fru Castaldo. Um, basically, he's a dude that everyone likes, but he's a bit, a bit iffy. So you know, you just have to try to keep him from overthrowing you, and but he's also really popular, so you can't assassinate him. I love assassinating people, isn't that fun? And then there's uh, a dad is. He's a bit of a political opportunist. He pretends to be a patriot, but he isn't really. If we go over here to my bros, he, uh, uh, my dad, this is you. Do you this is my military room where I do cool military stuff. And I'm like, yeah, that, 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 that's him. I don't know. I'm not sure why I did that, but do what I did. And then we have our newspaper over here. Uh, 50,000 attend, Liberation Day Parade, record crowds, do stuff, Fruk Stavlo, Minister of Intelligence, unprecedented policy shift from youth are not a resource at all. Yeah! Go, go youth and stuff. So, first of all, we got to start, uh, rebuilding, re rebuilding our beloved Basenji. So, this is our reconstruction period. First, uh, turn, we restore water and sewage. We allow foreign aid workers, and we need to choose, do we want, um, a... What are reconstruction limits? I'm not, not sure what they are, but, um, engineering team, minus three, I think this looks good, you know, you can never have too much money, eh? And then this is, um, 15% increase in tax revenue. Um, let's see, so we've, we can do a four, uh, thingies a turn, by the way. So as you can see, we have done... By rebuilding, we have re completed one action. So now we have three actions left. Isn't that cool? That, that, that's sort of cool. And now we are after... What are we after now? We are after... What am I doing? I'm doing something. All right, policies. Yes, that's... I'm... <laughs> Games like these. It's like I love them, but I'm bad at them and stuff. So now we, this is our policies. We decide what we want to spend and how. So let's see. Um, first of all, here. Minimum wage... We can probably maybe make it extremely low. Our alcohol tolerance can be... We can be pretty tolerant of them. We can get a bit of... A uh, bit of homeless uh, shelters. Uh, this will make the... Patriots uh, unhappy, but the capitalists happy. And currently we have... Um, Unhappy Halo, so we can do that. It's, uh, corruption will go down, but GDP and jobs will go up, and I like GDP and jobs. I think this seems like a good compromise here, to have a voluntary prayer week leave, you know. You know, you can just, like, you know, you, you got to grant the, the prayer leave, you know, cultural relativism or something. There's, uh, corruption is problematic, but our corruption is, uh, good down here, as you can see. And, uh, lowers capitalist approval, raises capitalist approval, yeah. So our corruption is still green, so we don't need that much. Um, we can... We're going to get our buses on the go a bit. You know, buses are, are quality. Get the schools up a bit. Death penalty, do we want? Ah, uh, well, we can have the death penalty. Keep going. Union power is limited. Uh, so this makes corruption... Oh, this makes... Oh, this makes corruption go down. I... I made an oopsie there. Uh, let's see. So, <laughs> it's, a uh, scintillating footage, I know. Um, unionization is permitted in Basenji. Sure. Eh, yeah, we'll just leave that there. Uh, oh, give the prosecutors a bit of money. Give the... Some, some moderate disability support. Obviously, we just... Came through revolution, so I don't want to spend too much money. Um, I'm not going to add any funds to the disaster pool because we're still sort of working on stuff. And then gambling prohibition. We can probably do this. Just because now we will have... Now the, you know, we're, we're sort of staying a bit steady in terms of our happiness joy. And then our... So we can probably have... This makes jobs go up, this makes jobs and labor go down and corruption go up, so we'll... Yeah, we can keep it there. That sounds good. So we're, so we're making one million a turn. 
which is not a lot of money, obviously, but hey, you gotta spend money to make money, you know? So there's that. Now we've completed another one of our actions. Uh, if I may refresh my memory, we can look at the... Boethia are the ones we think like the U.S. Okay. So let's, let's, let's call the, our Boethian broskies. Go, 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 go. F6. Yes, go. Yes. Walk faster, little man. Uh, we can call Boethia. Now our theory is that we... I think their opinion of us might be a bit low, just because, um, you know, we're, I guess, because we're affiliated with people like Tajikistan. So, um, we are very worried about Western imperialism. No. Um, we would like to depend. Sure. No. We hope to develop. If you like, uh, I think that this is something that uh, they would, that Boethia, this statement is something they would agree with. That spiritual leadership is important. Okay, so uh, turns out uh, Boethia is very fond of their religion, so that's cool. Uh, discuss trade. Uh, I, let's, let's just go. Um, <laughs> awkward. One of the, the trade thing basically is um, if you get this stuff, then if you get like, you have like resources, if you get multiple resources from countries and stuff, then you get boosts. That's cool, I guess. Um, we have to spend money to get resources, so it's all a bit, a little bit tricky, you know. And then I will, finally, I will look at my uh, tax rate. I think I'll aim to have my my taxes go up, maybe to maybe nineteen. No, we'll, we'll leave it at eighteen. It's a bit, a bit of a moderate increase, you know. Jobs are down, but. Such is life, you know? Such is life. So that's that. And then, there's no trade agreements currently in place. Um, spices and stuff are all pretty good. How do I? Okay. So then, spices are down. Oh, if we, I, we want to buy when stuff is at its cheapest, sort of. So, garments. We may want to buy garments in the future. That's cool. And then, we have a... We can deposit money to a get XP. But we don't do that because we're a good person. Now we've done our four actions. We end our turn. Excellency! The Senji officials have discovered the wreck of an ancient wooden exploration vessel off the coast of the Senji. The wreck appears to be at least 600 years old and may be an ancient Chinese treasure ship. This is a glorious find for the scientific and historical community. Uh, let's see, this would be uh, treasury, gets more money. I think I, I want to have uh, relations, you know, get, get, get happiness in the world. <sighs> that sounds good. Um, in my last game, I went to war with the country and I got wrecked, so we'll try to not do that again. Benji said things are going more patriotic. Okay, if we go to the newspaper and we go down, then we can see uh, what percentage of the population is uh, here. So currently patriots are the highest, and they also have the most approval office. That's cool. Um, so first of all, we got to do our uh, build infrastructure thing. So let's see, we can do uh, restore financial services, plus 10 capitalist support. Go, 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 take, oh no, that's turn three. Okay, never mind, we can't do that. <laughs> uh, oh me. We can look at the parliament, I guess. Glorious people of the Republic of Pasenji may it endure 10,000 years. We have my, 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 my dudes doing their dude things. I have 60 loyalty points. You, you can do something with loyalty points. I don't remember what you can do, but you can do something. Uh, so let's see. So what resources does Pasenji have? I want... Looks like, right, Pasenji doesn't have any resources yet because we need to uh, build up our infrastructure. So I think I will aim to... Uh, Mm. Domestic production is restored. So on turn five, we'll get resources, and then I can maybe start trading with the other countries. So let's see. So let's talk to uh, Abruski's uh, Tajikistan. So they're all autocratic. They don't like religion. They don't like freedom. So let's see. So it's our... That, uh, well, we may glorify the old ways. 
We must not fall victim to the trap of institutionalizing it into the state. Uh, we are very worried about Western imperialism. They won't like this. Really? But you, you, you... I, I don't even know about these people. So they won't be a fan of human rights and freedoms, as, assuredly. Uh, Long-standing corporation is good. Good, that's good. And then, uh, end call. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, mate. And then there's, so there's that. Uh, policies, are pro policies are probably good. Um, there's not much else we have here. Uh, situation room. Also, this is a thing where, like, you get future perks. Ooh, I, I can do stuff. Ooh, a tribute comedian, flatter members, uh, the native language of chicken and stem. Uh, that's, uh, sure. Now I, now I have, now I can tell jokes. So that's cool. Let, let, let's go, uh, I, I got this point from my uh, last playthrough. So now let's see. Let's, let me refresh myself on what the glorious people of uh, Kalshara think of me. So they are a bit fractious. They're in civil war. There's, um, you know, they, they are, they're not, just, they're just sort of, they don't really know what they're doing. They're just sort of kind of cray. They're cray. So we'll, we'll, we'll try to see what we can say to them. You know, we want to have, uh, buddies, you know. Ooh, there's an ambassador Margaret Hamilton. Look at you. Kalshara. The, the intel, I believe we won't know much about because, uh, Farouk is our intelligence minister. Okay, we can do it. First of all, we will discuss the issues. Um, it's essential to preventing conflicts in our regions. I imagine they don't like conflicts in our regions. Well, we can try that. Okay, so they don't like the... They don't like them. How about countering extremism? Okay, underlying social issues. Okay, fine, fine. I wanted... I thought I could tell a joke. I can't tell a joke. That's a shame. Let, let's call uh, Boethia up on the phone. Let's, let's, I want to tell a joke to Bo Boethia. Yo, dog. Tell a joke. I can only imagine what that guy is thinking. Like, he called me just to say that. Uh, beautiful. Then here in the situation room... Intelligence reports are... I imagine I don't really have anything. Oh uh, yeah, there's, we don't know anything because Farouk is our intelligence minister. And then uh, procurement officer is... This is how we, we get money. I mean, we get... This isn't how we get money. This is how we spend money on uh, military forces. And then uh, clandestine operations. This is like cool stuff we can do. Clandestine facility. Uh, uh, clandestine facility. We have, all right, so um, we have a, there's a Missoni space program, a giant hydroelectric dam. We don't like the environmentalists. Uh, so we have a great firewall. So we're in control of public opinion. I mean, I think that we don't need a space program. Maybe we'll do this. This is 12 per turn. Now nah, we'll... We can wait until we have more money, I think. And then, uh, yeah. And here, I think I will... Countries don't like it if you have troops on the border with them, I believe. So we'll just move these dudes inland. Move everyone inland. Go inland. Uh, inland, you go inland. And you can also go inland. So now, maybe they will be happy or something. Yeah, you make 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 sense, and then we can. These are our trade. Yeah, good old trade. The city of Majimara is seeking approval to build new water reservoirs to accommodate its growing population. This will severely reduce the amount of water available for nearby rural villages. So this makes the capitalists sad and the liberals sad, and this makes the fundamentalists sad. Nah. I have better relations with the fundamentalists than the capitalists and liberals. And we, besides, you know, the rural villages are probably like Karifi or something. We want the Karifi to be happy. Oh, and the, the Kalshara. 
I really need to make notes on like what all this means. But Tajikistan still likes us at least, so there's that. Refuse, yeah. They don't. They, they're sad now. Um, let's see. Let's see, that is. What am I doing? What am I doing? Yes. So this will have been the episode, I guess, episode one. Um, Frog State. It's a pretty cool game. It's not much, and uh, it seems to have received somewhat middling v reviews from what I've seen, but I, I think it's a nice little game that's, you know, it has a lot of, you know, heart, soul, you know? Even if it came out, like, a year ago, and no one's watching for it anymore, probably like two years now. It's just, I like it. So there. Bye, everyone. Bye.